Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review today. This one is by El Segundo Brewing Company. And it's called Steve Austin's Broken Skull IPA. And it comes in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. That's what the can looks like. Okay. Uh, I had this a long time ago and I don't remember what it was like. So um, we're going to go ahead and do this again. And we're going to review it this time. Broken Skull India Pale Ale, a badass 6.7% IPA designed by Steve Austin and El Segundo Brewing Company for the working man and woman. It features Citra, Cascade, and Chinook hops to deliver big flavor with an easy finish. Now stop reading and start enjoying the sauce and beer. Cheers. Um, there's no date on it, but um, the little plastic holder that it had had a, a, a sticker on it that had a date on it and it's this thing's like um about a month old i picked it up at total wine and more for like i don't know um 12 or 13 bucks for four pints so it's not too bad of a price so let's get a crack open and see what we got here i do like el segundo beers they're so far been pretty tasty I don't remember what this one was like though it's been so long it was a couple years ago I think I tried it and it was out of a bottle not a can um, El Segundo is here in California Steve Austin is a was a is or was a pro wrestler uh, pretty monstrous of a dude I think he's the guy that would smash beer cans on his head when he right before he wrestled or while he was wrestling all right so uh he's a pretty cool dude apparently looks cool on tv we have a um medium frothy creamy foamy silky head it's kind of disappearing a little bit in the middle there and we have a slightly hazy kind of light amber color there's some bubbles streaming up from the bottom Just a little lighter than like an amber color. Slight haze to it. It's not totally clear. As you can see. Looks like a West Coast style. See an aroma on this puppy. Right up front, I'm getting like uh, some hop notes. It's like some earthy and pine notes. Yeah, earthy and piney hops. I'm getting some bread sweet bready sweetness bready maltiness coming through as well smells pretty good almost smells kind of citrusy but it's just hops let's get a hit cheers a taste follows the aroma it's a tasty beer, I can tell you that right now. It's a really nice balance of earthy hops, piney hops, and a kind of a bready, sweet malt backbone. doesn't taste like fruit at all it's all hops piney and earthy um, some hops can mimic the taste of fruits but this one is there's no fruitiness at all it's all dank pretty dank hops earthy and piney 
See if we can pick up something else. Cheers. Sorry about the back, background noise. The uh, landscapers are out there. It's got a medium mouthfeel. It's definitely a well-constructed beer. And it is very tasty. Um, it's pretty typical West Coast style uh, flavor as far as the hops go. There's not a lot of variations in hops. They can use a bunch of different ones, but for the most part, most of the hops that I've tried, they're either like earthy kind of tasting or kind of piney, and some will taste fruity, kind of. But for the most part, the West Coast style IPAs are earthy and piney, and then there's variations of that. You know, there's sometimes you'll pick up something that would resemble like floral notes, or sometimes you'll pick up something that resembles like... Um, uh, you know, fruit notes. This, this landscaper is driving me nuts. Hang on one second. Okay, landscaper's done making noise. Um, so anyways, like I was saying, uh, hops can mimic a bunch of different uh, types of fruits and uh, flowers and floral and whatever. You know, bubble gum sometimes, tobacco, you name it. But generally speaking, like most of the West Coast style IPAs that I've had, they've all were either earthy or piney. Those seem to be the main flavors from hops. And then there's just like variations of each of those. But it's rare that you get like a West Coast IPA that's really floral or like really bubble gummy or really fruity it pretty much they all pretty much taste similar with just different variations because they use different types of hops just like marijuana it all tastes like it all tastes and smells and looks like marijuana they all have that similarity and um, then there's just variations of the marijuanas it's just the same with hops you know you got got purple bud that tastes like you know a little citrusy and uh you know a little sweeter where you got like uh sativa that tastes different than that and you got cess that tastes earthy you know marijuana and hops are very similar in that aspect as far as like different flavors and complexities of, of the hops and the cannabis they're very similar uh and that's probably because they are the, they are cousins of each other cannabis and hops and there is a lot of similarities between the two I'm, i've noticed so um let's swirl this again see if we can pick up something else and we'll wrap it up cheers big bready big bready malt note coming through almost crackery but then there's that nice balance of the earthy hops and the piney hops yeah it's pretty much what i'm getting like i said it's got medium mouthfeel very easy to drink it goes down real nice uh there's no raw alcohol notes no booziness nothing like that it's a very very well constructed beer and it's worth the money if you can get it fresh um if you see this go for it it's pretty damn awesome it's a very good uh, West Coast style IPA, and um, uh, I will definitely buy this again. So, um, on a scale of one to five stars, uh, I'm going to give this puppy a 4.2. It's super good, um, and I would recommend it if you're a hop head and uh, you want a really tasty West Coast style IPA. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So 4.2 it is. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. And I'm going to give this puppy horns up. All right, 4.2 it is. You have an awesome day and we'll check you later. See ya.